Okay, so again, we are going to start off by defining the geometry of our future frame structure. So what we are, what we are going to do is define the uh, four points that make up the corners of our frame. So for that, let's start by defining the uh, length and the height of our frame with uh, grasshopper sliders. So let's set the height, the length between zero and, for instance, uh, twelve meters. And and we are going to set the height between zero and five meters. Why not? Okay, so did, this would be my two uh, dimensions. And now we are going to define the points, of course, with the constraint const sorry with the construct point component. And there we go. So this should be our uh, first corner, which of course is going to stay in the point zero zero. And then, so we are going to be working in the plane XC. So now the next point that we are going to define, of course, could be the top left corner. And for that, we should use uh, the coordinates 0 and, in this case, 2.8. So there we go. Now we need the third point, the third corner. So this could be uh, the point 8 and 2.8 and finally the last point is going to be the point 8 and 0 and there we go so these are our four corners of our frame structure and it seems like we are almost done we don't need to define the, the lines as we are going to see later on but before moving on to caramba we are going also to define the location of our future hints in the frame structure, which of course is going to be at some point of our beam. And we are going to, to interpolate it between uh, 0 0.01 and uh, 1, let's say. There we go. So what we are going to do is to use now the interpolate component. So there we go, interpolate data. So this is going to be our parameter and we are going to interpolate between the second and the third point. So I uh, press and hold the shift key to add multiple parameters into my component and there we go. So this should be our point. Okay, it seems like uh, we are done with the geometry and we can move on to define our karma model.